Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a domain on Oracle Web Logic Server 12C. So in previous video tutorial, I have installed Oracle Generic Oracle Web Logic Generic uh, Web Logic, right? G using the generic installer. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a domain in Web Logic Server. So first of all, you need to go in the installation directory where you have installed your WebLogic server. So I had installed in this directory. In this directory, you have a direct again sub directory is called Oracle underscore common. Go to this, and again we will have to go in the common, and inside the common we have a bin. So let's open a command prompt over here. So here you can open a command prompt by typing cmd. So and here you have a, a script to run the uh, to open up configuration wizard and you have a something is called config and just write a config and press tab so there is a file is called config.cmd let's after you will have to issue this command now wait for some time configuration wizard will come out So now configuration wizard is getting open. Now configuration wizard looks like this. So after a certain while configuration wizard has came out and I will have to perform these steps to configure domain. So first of all, uh, you will have to select in configuration type, you will have to select create a new domain and uh, you will need to uh, select your domain location. So I'm going to create uh, my domain in this uh, directory itself and I will give the, my domain name uh, something like domain1 right and click on the next now make sure that in template make sure that you have selected create domain using product template and in drop down template categories all template and first one is default by default is selected basic web logic uh, server domain so keep as it is and let's click on the next And here uh, you have a next page like administrator account. So you will have to give the administrator name as WebLogic. Password I'm going to specify WebLogic one. Again confirm password. Same password you will have to type WebLogic one, and click on the next button. Now you have a two options. Either you can select develop domain mode as development or you can select production so i'm going to select development as per your requirement you need to select and jdk so oracle is pointing on the jdk in my which is installed uh, in my program files java directory so for oracle uh, web logic 12c uh, JDK 1.8 is needed so that is getting selected from 
my installation directory itself so now click on the next now here select all these things administrator administrator server node manager topology so select all those stuff now click on the next and here you have a mixture that uh, on administrator administrator server you have selected administrator and uh, you need to enter the server name so i'm going to keep as it is admin server itself listen address keep as it is right or you can specify the particular address as well but i'm going to leave as it is uh listen port administrator port i'm going to leave as it is 7001 that is by default and these are the things i keep as it is as a default click on the next now on node manager page uh, make sure that you have selected first option now you need to give the uh, username so let's give the username as web logic itself password i'm going to specify web logic one confirm password web logic one and click on the next and here managed server let's click on the positive sign this will enter one row and server name i'm going to specify server one and listen addresses keep as it is port number that is seven uh, uh, double zero three so keep as it is and let's click one times more and let's create one more manage server in server 2 and keep everything as it is and click on the next now next page is clustered I don't want to configure any cluster as of now so let's click on the next and server template uh, I'm not going to create any kind of server template right now now machines you can create any kind of machine suppose machine one i'm going to select uh, node manager listen address i'm going to keep as it is uh, and node manager listen port i'm going to leave the default one default five six click on the next now you have a assign server to machines saying that assign server to machines left side make sure right side make sure you have selected machine one and uh, in left side let's select server one and click on the right arrow so this will be selected again select server two which earlier we had created and click on the next now next we have a virtual target nothing we are going to do over here click on the next and partition we are going to keep again and uh, you can see we have a configuration summary which is showing over here and click on the create button so and just wait for some time if this progress bars bar is completed 100 percent then click on the next and this way we have created the domain in oracle weblogic server and for reference you can copy this url domain somewhere if you want to copy it then you can copy it so this is a domain location which is going to show you but i will remember where i have created a domain and admin server url that is http colon slash slash your machine name you might replace with the it address of this machine as well and we have a 73001 that is the administrator administ, admin console and if you want to uh, log in into your admin, admin console then you will have to use this url and finally you need to click on the finish button so this way we have created a domain in weblogic uh, server right so thanks for watching this video and next video i'm going to show you uh, how to start the server and how to log in into the admin console in Web or weblogic server so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial